Hello, my sweet crafty friends. Welcome back to Cards TV with Mary. Have I got a card fold for you guys. This beautiful card is called a diamond flip card. And let me show you how it opens. You just grab that flower and open it up. And isn't it gorgeous? It looks hard, but it's so simple to make. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And it just takes... A little bit of cardstock, a little bit of pattern paper, and you can make this beautiful card. And let me show you, it does indeed fit inside a regular envelope, just like that, ready to go out in the mail and make someone really happy. And I've done a happy birthday card. This would make a beautiful Mother's Day card. So let me get what we need over here, and we're going to make one of these diamond flip cards. To make this diamond flip card, I've got a ruler, a bone folder, a pencil, and I'm using a scoreboard, but if you don't have one, you can use the channel of your trimmer, and that'll work just fine too. Now my card stock is four and a quarter by 11 inches. We're going to put it in on the 11 inch side, take the bone folder, and we're going to score it at 2 and 1 eighth. And this is pretty thick, so I'm going to go over it a few times. And then we're going to come down and score it at 5 and a half. Now we're going to turn it to the four and a quarter inch side where we have the two and an eighth inch score line and we're going to take our pencil and we're going to go up here and look on our scoreboard and we see two and an eighth and we're going to make a little tick mark with our pencil and we can erase that later if we need to. Now I've gone ahead and folded my score lines so that you and I can both see them better and I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put it up here on this two and an eight tick mark. And then I'm going to find my score line right down here. And it's not easy for me to see it bending over a camera. But I think that's about right. And I'm going to make a pencil line. Then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Line it up with that score line. Then we're going to fold our card in half. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut just inside of that pencil line. This is what's going to make the point for our diamond flip card. Now, this will fold back. And then this is where we have our card folded in half. Okay, so for the blue, I have cut this at two and seven no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I cut this at three and a quarter by four and an eighth for the front. I also cut one same size for the inside. And you can go over to my blog and I will have all the measurements for you there, guys. And then this is where our sentiment is going to go. And then for the sentiment, if you don't want to use an oval, you just want to use a... Uh, piece of white cardstock. This is three and an eighth by four inches. That's going to go right there for the sentiment. Now for the pattern papers, this is cut at three and an eighth by four inches. It's going to go right there. Then we've got another one for this side that's going to go on that solid mat, which is three and a quarter by four and an eighth. This is also three and an eighth by four inches. Now I'm going to get these adhered down and then I'll come back and give you the measurements 
for the diamond shapes. Okay, you can see I've got those mats down. Now, I've decided I am going to put another oval in here, but I need to stamp it before I adhere it, so I've just left this blank until I cut my oval and put my sentiment on it. Now, for the diamond shape on the front, I've cut another of the beautiful blue, and this is a 2 and 7 eighths inch square. Now, we're going to adhere it only to this half, because if we put glue on the whole thing, it's going to seal our card shut. So I'm just going to put my glue right here and get that down. I'm going to put it pretty far inside because I don't want it to ooze out on the other side. And it just might, because sometimes I'm a little liberal with the glue. Now for the pattern piece to go on top of the blue, I've cut this to a 2 and 3 quarter inch square. And we're going to get that attached. Now you can see I still have a blue square and a pattern square. And I'll tell you what we're going to do with that. See how quick and easy this is coming together? And it's looking oh so pretty. Okay, let me scoot that up just a smidgen. There we go. That's what I like about this glue. You've still got a little time for some wiggling. <laughs> okay, now on the inside of mine, I covered this, but I'm not going to do it with this card. But what I've done with these two, I've cut them on the diagonal. So I'd have a piece of blue to go over here, and then the pattern to go on top. And I had the extra pieces left, so I just put them over there. But I'm going to grab my little trimmer, and we're going to cut these on the diagonal and get this side covered. Okay, I'm going to put the points right there on the edge of the blade. Now this is a little tricky looking over this camera, but hopefully I can get it right. <laughs> okay. There's one, two, and then we'll cut our pattern paper. I think this thing needs oil and it's making creaking noises like an old door. I don't use it very often. I keep it here in the studio in case I need to cut something. That looks good. And there we go. Okay, we're going to put some glue on. And get this one put on over here. This just makes the most beautiful card, I think. Okay, now we'll put our pattern piece on. That just finishes that off. Now, as I said, I didn't put this other piece of blue over here because it's already blue. But I did take that other pattern paper and get it attached, which gives it a nice finished look. And I think I'll go ahead and do that over here as well. And then I'm going to go cut my ovals and get my sentiments ready. And we'll get this card finished up. I went ahead and cut out my scalloped oval out of some white cardstock and I used this die and this is approximately three inches wide by four inches tall. So I've gone ahead and adhered that down. Now we're going to go back and finish up the front. Now for my sentiment I used some more of the blue and also some white and for that I used some of those matching scalloped ovals that came in this set. I'm going to go ahead and get this adhered down and then I 
stamped and cut out with the die this beautiful flower. Now, the papers in the cardstock, as well as the stamp set, and let me go ahead and show you that, came from the Serenity Card Making Workshop from Close to My Heart. And here is the stamp set. You get the matching dies and this beautiful cardstock and paper. And I'm going to give you a direct link to Linda's Close to My Heart site so you can go and pick this up if you want to make this card. But I think it makes a gorgeous card. So let me get some glue on the back of that. We'll get that put down and then we'll put our flower down. And I'll have two of these fantastic birthday cards. My birthday stash was getting mighty low. So I'm going to be very glad to have these. Now of course you could change this up, change your papers, what you put on here, and you could make this masculine. But I think this makes a beautiful birthday card and you could also use it for a just spectacular Mother's Day card. I'm going to go ahead and get my flowers on here. I'm going to angle it just right. Oh, that's so pretty. So there we have it, guys. Two diamond flip cards. They look exactly alike. <laughs> but I am so thrilled to have these. And you can see they open up and show the beautiful inside and show off that gorgeous paper. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This was so much fun to make. I love doing fun folds and I know all of you do too. And I've got some more cards in the works guys that have some fun folds. So be sure and watch for that. Thank you all so much for coming by and spending time with me today. I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.